Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel all about VLSI. We are diving deep into the AMBA AHB2 APB bridge. The crucial component serves as a virtual link between the high speed ARM processors and low power peripherals. Let's start with our AHB2 APB bridge and understand how it ensures seamless data transfer. The AHB2 APB bridge acts as an AHB slave. This bridge is basically a slave to our AHB slave and the bridge at a time acts as a master to our APB side. So the bridge is acting as a slave to our AHB and the bridge is at a time acting as a master to our APB. The bridge is facilitating communication between the high speed AHB and the low power APB. Basically this AHB is high speed and our APB is low speed. This bridge is facilitating this bridge is facilitating communication between the high speed AHB and the low power APB. Read and write transfers on the AHB are translated into equivalent transfers on the APB. The read and tra write transfers, the read and write transfers which are given from the AHB to our bridge is translated to corresponding read and tra write transfers for the for our APB. Here bridge is bridging the gap between the high speed AHB and the low speed APB. And it's also important to note that APB is not pipeline. Whereas AHB is a pipeline, AHB is pipeline, whereas APB is not pipeline. So because of this, the bridge inserts additional wait states during the transfer to and from the APB when AHB needs to wait for the APB. What is the need of the bridge? Well. It's bridged the communication gap between the low bandwidth peripherals on the APB and the high bandwidth ARM processors or other high speed devices on the AHP. This ensures that there is no data loss during the transfers in either direction AHP to APB or APB to AHP. Ensures that there is no data loss. This ensures that there is no data loss during transfer in either direction AHP or APB to AHP. AHB to APB interface, the mediator of microprocessor communication. The AHB to APB interface plays a crucial role in this process. It buffers address, control, and data from the AHB, driving the APB peripherals. Once the operation is complete, it retains data along with response signals to the AHB. Think of a mediator managing the flow of information between two distinct buses. Clock synchronization. Clock synchronization is key to AHB to APB interface operation. It is designed to work seamlessly even when AHB and APB clocks have different frequencies and phases. This adaptability ensures efficient data transfer between the two data buses. The AHB bus can have a different frequency clock. Generally, AHB buses deal with high frequency clocks and the APB buses deal with the low frequency clocks. So for synchronizing the both clock frequencies, we are using a bridge. So concluding the importance of a HB to APB bridge, this bridge is used for bridging the communication gap between high speed AHB and low speed APB. Next, this bridge is also used for clock synchronization. And it is also used for preventing any data loss. So finally, there you have it, a brief but comprehensive overview of AHB to APB bridge. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more VSA content and ring that notification bell to stay updated. Feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Until next time, keep exploring the fascinating world of technology. Thank you.